Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chip Miss here and today I'm gonna be taking a look at AirPlay. Now, this is an app specially designed to stream video and music from your computer to your iDevices and Android devices. Now, this app is currently only available for the iPhone, iPad and the iPod Touch. So, Android users, you're gonna have to stay for a while. So, today let's see how this app stands up in terms of video quality, streaming times and even the iTunes home sharing feature. Now, one of the most important things to be loved about this app in the first place is that it does not require a big and husky setup. So all you need to do to set it up from the scratch and get it running is that to download and install the AirPlay server available for our Mac and PC and uh, from the website and to add the folders you want to share and that's pretty much about it. So let's take a look at the actual app itself. So as you can see from the first look itself, this has really simple controls. We can add local servers or remote servers. I've already added my local server that is my Mac Mini. So we can just go ahead and click on that. You can also view your files of your 3G network now. Now the reason I'm saying 3G again uh, is because that it might not work great on the Edge or previous generation networks because basically it's meant to be working on Wi-Fi which is pretty much faster compared to any networks that might be available on a mobile device. Although when the Android app comes out it would also support 4G so thumbs up for that. And for my pretty fingers. Well moving ahead to the review itself. Well, after you have decided and added the servers, you can uh, go ahead and click on that and see a list of each and every file or folder that you have shared. You can go ahead and click on a folder and it would show up uh, each and every file. Also, this is a pretty simple way to add and view files. So you can go ahead and uh, do that. And in my personal experience of using this app for the past couple of weeks, I have uh, hardly noticed any few lags here and there. So I'm going to go ahead and play a file here. So as you can see, uh, before I fail to play the file, uh, this is really simple. You can go ahead and play it. Now this also have has a converting option. You can go ahead and convert that. You can also have an offline conversion. So you can go ahead and set it up and you know it would kind of uh, save the file on your device itself with the highest amount of uh, quality that it can support. You can choose a lot of different options while converting itself so you can go ahead and do that. And well, I'm gonna go ahead and play this file to check out how much time it takes to load up. Now I'm in a Wi-Fi connection. I have a medium Wi-Fi range route here from my Mac Mini, so it's kind of pretty good. And uh, well, it's gonna be playing up. Kids, so the file has already started playing. So as you can see, this is pretty, you know, neat. And there are absolutely no types of lags here and there. So taking a look at the iPad version of the app, the app itself seems to be very easy compared to the iPhone version which itself was very simple. So you can go ahead and uh, click on the local server, it will load up the things and uh, well, it's like uh, the thing that uh, anyone can use. So I totally recommend getting up this app. So finally as a whole I would say that this is an awesome app. Just awesome. And you might want to take a day off, call, notify your friends, call random people because this is a 100% worth downloading app. Now I've been totally addicted to this app and it provides a very simple solution for watching media on my iPhone without me converting and then transferring files to my iPhone. Which uh, kind of requires a lot of space on my iPhone hard drive and uh, which basically I don't have. Uh, as this app has a lot of good points, it does also have some negative points. So taking a look at those, first of all, the conversion process is a little slow. So you know you might uh, want to take uh, some time before converting that and saving it locally. And then again, it depends on the quality of the video you are converting in. Also, that it does not work smoothly sometimes, and the apps they seem to crash. But most of the times, it works actually flawlessly, and the video started playing instantaneously. Again, so I would say that this app is a short try and well built and free in the app store. So go ahead and try it out. Cost nothing, right? And let me know in the comment section below what you think about this app. Guys, you can also follow me at Twitter at twitter.com slash triplemist and find me at facebook.com slash triplemist. Again, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.